Having an art style is vital if you want to make it in the art industry. It's really what will set you apart from your competitors and what will attract your loyal audience. So how can you find yours? In today's video, we'll dive into the different aspects which you can consider in order to create yours and the one most important question which you can ask yourself in order to find your own art style. First of all, forget about the technical part, like the perfect way to draw the eyes, to draw your faces. Forget about it, don't go crazy over it. Actually, your art style is already within you. And yes, it will evolve over time, but the essence is already within you. Just take out a few of your character drawings and ask someone, do they think that this was drawn by the same person? Chances are yes, and no matter where you are at in your art career, you already have your own recognizable style and you're able to draw things the way you draw them because, well, that's just within you and that's the way you draw and you didn't put any special thoughts into it. Some of my students tell me that they don't have a specific art style, but actually it is easily recognizable after a few classes on who drew what, because they all have a specific way of drawing and you do too. Some people draw characters thinner, larger, um, bigger, smaller, they draw round shapes, um, rectangular shapes, so everyone already has their own way of drawing. But just some recognizable characters and sketches are not enough in order to create your art style. And I really think that it all comes down to the universe that you create all around it. So for example, it can include um, ambience, motives, uh, technique that you are using. So in the next part, we'll dive into that. When you actually start inking or coloring, this can totally change the outcome of your drawing. Let's take this pencil sketch and try out two different techniques. You get some completely different results, right? They give off a completely different vibe. So there are a few questions which you can ask yourself in order to create your own universe. What technique do you like? Maybe soft pastel watercolors? Or are you more into flashy digital art? What colors do you like? Will you be using a specific color palette, like more warm or cold tones? Or are you going with black and white only? How are your strokes? delicate and precise ink lines or thick dynamic brush strokes. Now that was more about the technical part and now we can go into your preferences. What settings do you like? Day-to-day -day life nowadays, fantasy, steampunk, dark and gore, cute and girly. What recurring elements do you like drawing? Flowers and nature, beautiful princess gowns, swords, food. What do you primarily focus on? Characters, animals, landscapes, a mix of all? Of course, you don't need to always use the same elements over and over again, but actually using those recurring elements consistently in your work will help you define your work better with a unique style which is completely unique to you and which will set you apart from other illustrators. Which brings me to the most important question which you can ask yourself if you want to define your art style and your universe. How do I want people to define my artwork in one sentence? Just imagine, a fan wants to describe your amazing work to their friends. What do they say? How do they describe your work? Having such a guideline can actually help you know what you should draw and see if you're on track, if you really want to build a whole universe around it. If you have a look at the popular artists nowadays, you can see that most of them have a specific art style which can be described in one single sentence and they remain pretty consistent with it. So here are a few examples. Sakimi-chan could be beautiful, semi-realistic digital paintings in a fantasy universe portraying sexy pinups and handsome guys with generously developed bodies. 
and even for her not sexualized characters, it's still characters, fantasy, and digital painting. Asya Ladovska would be manga style cute female characters. While she doesn't have a specific setting and regularly changes between digital, copic, sketches, this pretty much describes all her illustrations. Kentalo Miyuda, author of Berserk, is the guy who went down in history for the most insanely detailed ink illustrations in every single panel, compiled with darkness and fantasy. And the list goes on. Just have a look at your favorite artists and see if you can find a tagline for them. So yes, finding your art style isn't actually focused on pure technique. It's really so much more. It's really a combination of who you are and what you like. While it takes time to perfect, remember that you already have the basics within you. So have fun and just draw and try experimenting to see what really suits you and what you can do and what you like doing. One day you'll look at your drawings and you'll tell yourself, oh, that's my unique art style. I have finally found it. And now I'd love to hear from you. Please tell me, what do you want people to say about your art style? How do you want them to describe it? Please comment below and tell us so that we can all inspire and get inspired by each other. Thank you so much and see you next week.